How's it going? It's Shane Thomas, ready to show you another country classic on acoustic guitar. This time in this video, we are going to learn The Blues Man by Hank Williams Jr. off his 1980 album, Habits Old and New. It was written by Hank Williams Jr. and it sounds like a very autobiographical song. It, um, also, Alan Jackson in 1999 remade the song, did a cover of this song off an uh, album of covers. 1999's Under the Influence and, and did a tremendous job. And thank you to Jim for this request. I really appreciate it. And it's my pleasure to show you how to play this lovely love song. Um, and that's straight from the heart from Hank Jr. It's, it's not that tough of a song, but I will show you some little variations that you can add to your chords then, um, if you want to learn how to uh, have some variations with it. Uh, but I'll also show you the bare bones version too, if you like. So it's in the key of G, G, open G chord, G major chord. Check out the chord diagrams as always, if you need help. Ring finger goes on the sixth string, third fret. Put your middle finger on the fifth string, second fret. Play the second, third, and fourth string open. And make sure that pinky's down on that third fret of the first string. It's going to be a very important note in this song, especially in the intro. So that's our first chord. Now, what I want you to do, like I was saying, there's going to be some variations uh, that I you might want to think about doing because the intro is kind of like that. Hear that note right there? That's my middle finger going down on the third string second fret and it makes I just love that sound right there so it's not a straight up G chord all I did was take my middle finger and instead of pressing down on the fifth string second fret I bring it down here to the third string second fret and one of the reasons I wanted you to play the G chord with these these fingers because it makes it easy to slide down to this chord. The C chord is our next chord that we're going to learn. Keep your pinky, this is key, keep for the intro, keep your pinky right there on the third fret of the first string. And your other fingers, first finger goes on the second string first fret, then you skip a string, press it down with your middle finger on the fourth string second fret, and press down with your ring finger, fifth string, third fret. And again, make sure that pinky's there on that third fret, first string. And that's your C major chord with adding that pinky. So the picking pattern of the intro. So down. Back up to the fourth string. Do it again. Now down to C. Keep your pinky on that third fret, first string. That's the C. Now you go down to D7. Here's what I was saying earlier. If you're more comfortable playing the D, you're going to get away with playing the D major. And it could very well be the D major chord. But this D7 sounds pretty good too. So let's learn the D7 first. D7, first finger goes on the second string, first fret. Middle finger goes on the third string, second fret. Ring finger goes on the first string, second fret. And play that fourth string open. Then back to G. You can play the D major chord too. If you'd rather do that, I'll leave it up to you. Either way works. Trust me, it's not that big of a difference in sound. If you play the D major real quick, it's middle finger on the first string, second fret, first finger on the third string, second fret, and ring finger on the third fret, second string. That's D major. Always check those chord diagrams out. So here's our intro so far. G with that middle finger on the third string, second fret, drop 
down to the C major with your pinky still on the first string, third fret. Now down to D7. And what I like for you to do too, if possible, hear that? That's that bass and the F sharp. So no matter if you play the D7 or the D, you'll hear that in the song. I think the bass plays a major, to me, plays a major role in this song when you make these chords. That's a great way to spruce up a D major chord or a D7 chord. If you can somehow wrap your thumb around, press down on the second fret of your sixth string. So the intro is sort of like this. G. C. D7 with that bass right there in the F sharp, which is the second fret of the sixth string. G. Now at the end of the intro, you're gonna get a little lick that kinda of sounds like this. And you can actually, if you wanted to, just pick the fourth string and the fourth string, fourth fret, and the second string, third fret, like that. So what I did there was go fourth string, fourth fret, and the third fret, second string, and just keep that same position, but move it down to the first and second fret on the second and fourth string. So second and fourth string, the first position is third fret, fourth fret. Second position is that right there, first fret, second fret, still on the second and fourth strings. Then you play the G, G open chord. And that's your intro, let's do it one more time. G to C. To D7 with the F sharp in the bass. Back to G, then you do that. Like three blind mice kind of sound of thing. And that's if you want to learn that little lick. It's up to you. If you don't learn that lick, you just go from D7 to G. And then let's learn how to play the verse after we just learned how to play that intro. Now that we learned how to play the intro to the blues man, let's learn how to play the verses. For the most part, pretty much the same chords, but I will show you another uh, couple chords that you can add to this song for the verses. We start off in G major. I'm just a singer, plug down and up, natural born guitar ringer, C major, kind of a D7 clinger of sad old song. Back to G. Not a walk behind her. G still. I'm a new note finder. That's a new chord, A minor. A minor first finger goes on the first fret of the second string. Middle finger goes on the fourth string, second fret. Ring finger goes on the third string, second fret. And that's the A minor. Now, like I said in the first part of this video, I'm gonna show you some variations. Since it is called the Blues Man, all these sevens that we're learning, the D7, now the A minor seven, which is what I'm getting ready to show you, it blueses it up. And so that's why I wanted to show you the variation. So you can either play A minor, or you can play the A minor seven, which is all I'm doing is taking my ring finger off the A minor. And that leaves me the first finger on the first fret, second string, and the middle finger on the second fret, fourth string. Then you go down to D7, or if you decide to play the D major chord, you can. Then back to G. And that's the first part of 
the verse. Now, here's a little trick or a tip, helpful thing that might let you uh, make you remember it a little bit better. When we do the verses, the first time around, we go from G to C. The second time around, though, we go from G to A minor or A minor 7, which depending on which one you want to play. All right. So it makes more sense if I play it in its entirety. So watch this. I'll point it out, though. G. I'm just a singer. G. Natural born guitar ringer. C. This is the first time around, so we go to C. Kind of a clinger. D7. A sad old song. Back to G. We're going to stay on G. This is the second time around, so. I'm not a walk behind her. G. I'm a new note finder. Second time around, we, we play a different chord instead of C. First time around is C major after the G. Second time around, though, is the A minor 7 or A minor, depending on what you want to use. So if you know that, if you can remember that, it's going to help you learn this song ASAP. It's going to really speed up uh, how you're going to learn a song. So again, let's do it one more time. Then we're done with this verse. And uh, yeah, it's just a good tip. I think it will be useful for you to learn. I'm just a singer, G. A natural born guitar ringer. First time around, C major. Kind of a clinger. D7. We're going back up to G. A sad old song. Second time around, we're going to go to A minor, 7. I'm not a walk behind her. G. Now, new no finder, A minor, 7. Second time around. And my name's a reminder, D7, of a blues man that's already gone. G. We're going to do that again, okay? Same chord progression, just more words. So I started drinking. G. Took some things that messed up my thinking. C major. D7. There you go. G. I was alone in the hot light. Second time around, where are we going? That's right, A minor 7. Much left in sight. But she changed all that one night. D7. When she sang me this song. G. And that's how you play the first verse. We're getting ready to learn how to play the chorus. But that's how you play the first verse and the chords to the second verse of the Blues Man. Let's learn how to play the chorus. Now that we learned the chords to the intro and the chords to the verses, all we have to do is learn how to play the chorus, and we're done with this song. We already know the chords, so it won't take us too long. We just left off right here. When she sang me this song, D7 to G. Start strumming a little bit. It's nice laid back kind of rhythm like that. Hey, baby, I love you, G. Hey, baby, I need you. A minor seven. Now, what I did there at the very, in between the hey and the baby, hey, baby, that right there is the same lick on the second and fourth string, on the third and fourth fret, on the first and third fret, or first and second fret, as we did in the intro. So if you remember in the intro section of this video, Learn that little lick at the end, right before we start singing the verse. Same thing. Uh, now, if you don't want to do that on the Hey, baby, I love you, you just play the C. Hey, baby, I love you, G. Hey, baby, I need you, A minor 7. Hey, baby, you don't have to prove to me D with that F sharp in the bass. Macho man, G. Do it again. So much of my life, G. 
running through the dark night A minor 7 or A minor Let your love shine Let your love light Shine down on the blues man G And then they got a little Kind of a couple bars of a guitar solo And then he goes into verse 2 And then he goes into the chorus again Now at the end of the second chorus He's got this section of I'm 30 years old now Nights would be so cold now A minor 7 If you hadn't stuck around D With this blues man And it just ends on that G So the 30 years old part Is the same chords as the chord, chorus And again those chords are G Hey baby I love you Hey baby, I need you. A minor seven or A minor. Hey baby, you don't have to prove to me. D with that F sharp in the bass, which is the second, pressing down with your thumb on the second fret of the sixth string. Some kind of macho man, back to G. I wasted so much of my life. G, running through the dark nights. A minor seven or A minor. D or D7 G and that's the chords to the chorus so to sum up we don't have many chords in this this song in the intro we got the G the C the D7 but it, but again if it's up to you if you want to play the D or the D7 it's up to you if you want to play the A minor or the A minor 7 leave it up to you and that's the song. Uh, so you just take your time, practice those chords, practice that that intro part. I love that. I love that that section. Uh, so G, you got G, C, A minor, some variations of A minor, D, some variations of D, D seven D. Whatever you want to do, as long as it sounds good to you, as long as it makes you feel good, and as long as people are like, man, is that Hank Williams, the blues man you're playing? That's all we care about, really, you know? To our ears, there's very, there is a difference between the D and D7 or A minor, A minor 7, but not much. Uh, so you're going to get by with it. As long as, like I always say, it's, it's all about having fun and keeping these songs alive, and this is a great song to keep alive, the blues man by Hank Williams Jr. If you like this song, hit that like button. If you hadn't already, I appreciate it. You hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you get all the latest guitar tutorials as soon as I publish them. I want y'all to keep humming and strumming and strumming and humming. I'm Shane Thomas. Take care.